Yeah, so we have a 30 milliliter in a cup equals 10.5 grams alcohol drop equals 70 calories. kilojoules over calories. Johnny Walker. It's a really common blended scotch whiskey. They make uh, a lot of the most popular scotches out there in terms of sales. This is the Johnny Walker Origin Series. Specifically, this is the Lowlands variety. So Johnny Walker made four blended scotches from the four corners of Scotland, and this is the Lowlands region version. Right, and so it says black label on it, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with their black label recipe, correct? Well, that's kind of unclear. I think they're they're using that partly as a marketing tactic, Okay. but it sounds like, you know, I'm, I'm, I would guess a lot of the whiskeys that are in these blends from the Origin series are probably also in black label. Gotcha, okay. But I know, well, I'm assuming we probably can't expect this to be smoky like their regular black label. Right, so this is gonna be more just their lowland flavor profile. Correct. It's a celebration of the lowlands. Correct, yes. Which we haven't, as of yet, tried on this YouTube channel. We haven't tried any lowland scotches specifically, so. Ooh, exciting. This is exciting. This is very interesting. I don't, I really don't know what to expect. Same. All right, well, let's give it a nose. It's definitely not smoky. Not at all, no. I'm, I'm smelling a lot of uh, ethanol. Yeah. I'm getting a very, very pronounced it's alcohol a very alcohol smell. Yes. Yeah, it's very sharp. There's like subtle. Well, honey? Flowers? Yeah, F floral, yeah, definitely, I would say. It's kind of flowery. Like, I'm expecting there to be citrus notes, but I'm not getting any of that. No. And I, that's an expectation just based on generals, like, space side, I would assume, yes. which we know this is not, so that's just. Right my interpretation of scotches, I guess. Yeah, we've often come to expect like that tropical fruit. Yeah, and that's none of that. No, not at all. It's uh, a little sweet smelling though, I think. Yeah, but what is it? It's it's really weird. It doesn't smell like any scotch we've really had before, which I guess makes sense because we haven't had a Lowland. So what's it gonna taste like? Let's find out. Okay. It's a really subtle taste. It's like bright and fruity, but I can't tell you what fruit I'm getting. It, no. It's not like banana like we get, that you and I have specifically noted in a lot of scotches. It, so I, I think I'm getting a little bit of a, like a shortbread. I'm getting uh, a little, it's reminding me a little bit of Jameson. Like I, an Irish, Irish whiskey, with, yeah. yeah. Oh. But, but with more floral notes, if that makes any sense. It's kind of, yeah, like buttery and flowery. Mm -hmm. It's really quite good. Yeah. This is probably the best Johnny Walker blend I think we've had, I, at least I've had, personally. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the Black Label. That's right, you are. But this, I, I, I don't want to compare it directly, because I feel like this is a different beast altogether. It's very different, yes. The finish, I'm still getting a lot of like sweetness and butteriness to it, though. It's yes. a... Uh, it's very good. Yeah, it's... it it reminds me a lot of Highland scotches that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but not as I think overtly fruity. But it's sweet. It's got a sweetness, but not. It's not easy to define where that sweetness necessarily comes from. Right. I feel like with certain things we can say, like, oh, this is orange, sweet orange, or something, or or specifically cookie flavored or something. Sure. This is a. Uh, got a sort of mix of various things. And maybe that's because it's a blend of so many different things. Could be, but it's supposed to be indicative of the region. True, but it's still a blend of different whiskeys from that region. So maybe that's what's making it harder to, to pin down the specific notes. I still feel like I should be able to pick out a specific thing that's making this sweet. That's fair, but true to our name, we are truly laymen yeah. who have no idea what they're talking about, so. Yeah. But what we can say, this is a pretty good blended scotch, and if you aren't really a fan of Johnny Walker, I would encourage you to give this a try because this is very different from all their other blends. Yes. I would say one thing that's consistent across almost all Johnny Walker blends is there's at least some level of smokiness. There's none in that. That's not present none. at all. Yeah. So if that's something that puts you off from Johnny Walker, I'd give this a try. Absolutely. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. That's fair. It's pretty good. That's fair. I like it. I think, uh... Once in a blue moon, you and I get very close with our ratings. I'm gonna give it an eight. Wow. I think this is very, 
very approachable. It's yeah. quite nice. And I can see it having multiple uses. Like, I think this could be very good in a mixed drink. It's very good just by itself, maybe with a cube of ice. Yeah. I think any way you want to have this is a good way to have it. I, yeah, I, I agree with that completely. Probably not the easiest whiskey to find in the U.S., though. I haven't seen it anywhere. No. We got this specifically when we were at the Johnny Walker store. Yeah. And we thought it was very neat because we hadn't seen it before, specifically for that reason. Right. So, but, yeah. Good going, Johnny Walker. <laughs>